Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, this video, uh, this image is ready. It's called Fully Loaded. Uh, it comes with everything you see, 186 uh, images. Not images, but 186 Neo Geo. So this is the main screen. And this is all the game that we have. So I have to go through it that quick because there's a lot to cover. Alright, and let's go down. So this is your first screen. And this is your second one. And this one have a different animation and different background, different theme. So all the Neo Geo is separated uh, into the shooting as well, fighting shooting. So this is all your shooting and this is the, the animation for it. So there's 19 shooting game from Neo Geo. Now Neo Geo is not using retro because uh, this is sports, 19 sports game. They're using the Hilo stick uh, hack and you also have the, the bio in it. So you have, you could have, you could do cheat code and all the kind. So those are nine of those games. And with this pack, you have everything already preset for you. You don't need to do uh, any add-on because it's all here and this is a 100 101 uh, Neo Geo CD and the Neo Geo CD have more option where you could select so this one do not use the the Neo Geo bio but you it have its own menu per each console and this is using retro art Neo Geo CD Now I have done separate video on those consoles, so if you want to see more detail, you could uh, go look, uh, check my other video, please. And so we could go through this a little bit quicker without. Now the box art, people prefer this box art being big, so I have in, in, uh, enlarged the, the mind to make her bigger and uh, come forward to the, so instead of, Instead of in the middle of the box art is now standing forward of the box art. So it looked better now. So I went and we did the, the animation. And there's only 50, uh, there's 30 that is, is, is caught up. And the rest of this back here is non, is a Neo Geo pocket. The one in the front, as you can see, it say Neo Geo cutter. So the 30, of them is Neo Geo color and the rest of the 20 is just Neo Geo pocket meaning that it's black and white okay so the last 10 are the black and white and the first 30 is the color and then here's the Capcom the full set Uh, the one that came with uh, CP, CPS1 and CPS2 and CPS3, they are here. And then we added some extra hack game as well, will allow you to play all the bosses. And all the game here play very well. And also we have a built-in cheat mode, so you can use the cheat mode that has come with it.
Now the RK one, the one that is working from one to all the way down to to the fighting and shooting, they all using the regular uh, they using the emulator that came with the, the system RK emulator. They are not using the hack because uh, some of the game is a vertical shooting and if you change it it won't play you have to play horizontal for the shooting game you want to play it vertically so all this game is still the same setup we did not change it because it, it played very well here so I, I did not change it and uh, also the photo structure has been uh, changed and modified to match with the the Hydro Hack version 1.2. Uh, so that way, when you switch imi image from one from one system to another system, you won't get a black screen. Uh, but you still have to park the game in Neo Geo main menu. Otherwise, uh, you will get a black screen for the safe. To be safe, always park your system at Neo Geo uh, main screen and then turn it off. That way you won't have any problem if you need to uh, unhack, uh, unhack it, you could still do so and you could still go and get the... Now this one does come with... Uh, uh, the CD key for the main when I say main uh, main before you shut it down go to Neo Geo full set and then select that and then power it off after it's loaded okay so don't just go to don't turn it off while you are here or here or whatever other game system make sure just try to have a it's a good safe, uh, safety advice for me to you because I've been uh, switching images and modifying and adding and you know and sometimes I forget to do that and when you when you don't park it you will get black screen. I'm actually getting pretty good at helping people fixing the black screen. And there's a lot of cool game here. So, and this one, it have an alphabet order where this is M to C. So you know exactly where you're at. And also it gives you the title screen. And plus it have the year for all the arcade and then what kind of game it is is it action shooting so I took the time to do that but at the same time I was able to pull them out and sort them by category of game type so you could actually play a certain type of game without have to go down the list and look for the game So we'll see that next. And this is Donkey Kong animation. So we go down to this. And there's RK number two. And this is uh, sports and this is a uh, RK uh, uh, puzzle and sports. So all your RK sports game is over here. And then I designed the uh, Pac-Man animation so all this is all unique designed by me uh, animation is created by me and the wallpaper is, is is designed by me the box art actually came from emumovie.com he they 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 host all the box art so that's where you get get your 3d and some of the box art i have to draw myself because there's no box art.
So here's RK3D action. So now the game is separate uh, the, based on category. So the one you saw was a puzzle in sport. And now this one is all ac action game from the RK Classic. There's 158 action, action game. So most of them have, uh, majority of them have the year on, on the middle and that actually tell you what year was created or what year was made on this game. Now this is RK fighting and here's uh, my uh, Chin Lee, it's jumping for joys and that was also put together by me and the wallpaper and the theme and the design it was to match Chin Lee. So there's 98, a fighting game of RK. And now we are looking at RK shoot, shoot up, shoot up game. Here's, here's all the shoot up game for the RK. For those of you who just want to play shoot up vertical game, you could still play it here because they are not uh, modified to retro. Because the retro we have is really basic, is a back end, and the hydro stick is the front end. And so it's like a Raspberry Pi. Uh, raspberry, raspberry is the front end, and retro art is the back end, and the hardware is called Raspberry Pi. So Raspberry is the front end of the, the, the game console. So Hydro Stick is the front end of the system, but it also have, uh, you also have Linux as the, as the back end as well, like the Neo Geo, Capcom, and when most of the arcades use the open source Linux as a back end as well. That's how we started. And now we have an option to switch between that and also switch between uh, retro art. Here is called, here's the one that most of the game is retro art, but not all of them, because this is the one originally was running slow and lacking. And so this category originally was called, you know, the game have lacking. I forgot to change it. The game has some lacking, okay? But those have been uh, improved by using, like this one is running from retro art. Now, if you use the wrong uh, main, like wrong uh, retro art court, the game will not load. So the game played very well. It played just like that. No lagging, no snow down. So as you can see, it's using retro. So I just want to sh quickly show you. Now the way you could tell which one is using the emulator and which one is using retro is it tell you using May 2000 for this one. This is using May 2010. This is not because uh, I couldn't get it working with retro. And those are using May 2000. The Donkey Kong, it automatically changed the screen to horizontal. So you can play Donkey Kong sideways. So I did not change those. Uh, so it's still the same 
uh, Donkey Kong. But uh, the virtual, we don't have an option to change the screen size or the uh, adding filter or shade it or adding uh, bezel on the side. We are not able to. So most of the game is whatever you see on the screen is the size you're going to get. So some of the game, it will be stretched and there's nothing I could do because I, I'm not the hacker. I'm just taking what I have and just put it together and uh, giving you guys this list as a, what you call a happy, East, happy Easter Sunday. So this is my gift to you for Happy Easter. So I went and finished this. Now, this is pretty cool. The tempers work and it worked very beautifully. I was very amazed by it. And Space Harry also worked before it wasn't it wasn't working at all. And this this game oop, I always do that, clicking the one button. So the graphic is very, very good. Uh, it's very dark and the line is very clear. Not like the, the the other version that I use. Now, if you're using this for Raspberry Pi and stuff like that, if you're not using, playing this game, you want to use Advanced Main and you have to set up your, your setting. Now, if the speed is too fast for you, if you don't, or too slow for you, you could always press this button down here, the white button here, and you get this. And you could change the setting by going to anime control. By pressing A, you could change this to 20, 25 to make it go faster and or slower. The sensitivity. Uh, the speed, if you prefer the speed faster, you can put 25 here, 26, whatever how you like it. And then you press return back to the program. So the, the setup is done for you. And so this game is, is working. So Tempest before was never able to play. And now the Tempest, Tempest 2 and Tempest are working very well. And then we have Ninja Turtle play very well, no lag at all. Uh, same thing with Ninja Turtle in time. Uh, Space Harry worked very nice and the joystick work. Before joystick would not work. And of course I have to put this and Michael Jackson worked very nice and beautiful. This one has some little bit of sound glitch. Uh, not glitch lacking, but they play very well. And then the Demon Front using uh, Final Burnout 2012, but doesn't play uh, the best. But what is strange is, strange is it played well in uh, the in the emulator. So if you look at the arcade and alphabet order, you will find this one. It played very well, and not not this one. Sorry, the Demon Front uh, Alpha 2012. Now as you can see, they are using different emulator. I cannot pinpoint which one to use. Like I tried to use all their Final Burnout uh, 2012. It seemed like it worked the best, but but not all the game will play in that format. Some of them have to be used. Like this is Final Burnout 12. Now I have also programmed the game so that you could actually play those games without lacking. But this is the result you get. You will have to play horizontal but the joystick is configured for you so you could play the game horizontal with the with the direction running correctly now just let you guys know also FYI uh, if you play Tempest for some reason if you play Tempest it sometimes require you to turn it off and, and reboot it because the system does not reset itself so it went out of resource real quick 
So you will, like I was trying to load this game and it gave me a, a black screen. I have to turn it off and turn it back on. So just FYI. So if you play some game, <clears throat> like the Templars or Space Harry, you might run into a problem not able to load a second game. So you will have to turn it off and turn it back off. So this game you could actually play horizontal and this you your joystick is being uh, programmed by this game set so now you could actually uh, play this game without any, any issue with the sound or the lacking of the game yes I work on this uh, image for a uh, so let's go out because I accidentally format my one terabyte SSD card so I have to redo the whole thing over again now there is a, a video about how to do this and there's also a formula that is out there that helped you to sort them by different order like you have games that you don't like the order that I put on like you prefer Genesis on very top or the October 16 on the very top you could just copy the, the, the there's a video I'll show you how to do it you just copy that put it on the formula and then type in the number that you want and then just copy the, the file that you generated and put it into a text file and, and then change it from text file to a batch file and you can rename your images and your animation to a different order of the game so those are being uh, done now Sega Genesis is playing using retro art so they, they play they look pretty it look okay with it being a stretch with the vertical screen so so all the home console now are running on retro now if you don't like it running on retro and you want to change it uh, there's also a video in telegram that will show you how to uh, change it back uh, on certain game that is you want to run it on vertical and not horizontal okay Now this version does, now I also redid the character of this lady, uh, swing, swing it down to the size, almost the same size as this one, because originally it was too big and I didn't like it, it kind of stick out. So I went and redid the animations to bring it more, bring it forward and smaller, before it used to be almost the same, almost the same size as uh, the box art. So I reduced that and uh, it looked better is smaller than before because before I didn't really know how to modify the <clears throat> it take me longer to to modify uh, animation and so what I did is I, I just pretty much leave it the way it is I didn't really change it so now I, I know how to do it so I went and changed it so it looked uh, better as it's being small So next uh, one is uh, the alphabet order, Genesis. Now all these games are uh, being re-modified to work with Hydro Stick. So the game uh, will not work on your normal Raspberry Pi because the name has been uh, renamed. So uh, just FYI, let you know who those of you who are uh, uh, interested in who seeing that this is a cool image, and 
wanted to use this on the other console. It, it will not work because the name is being modified. And so when you're trying to search for box art or, or snapshot or the wheel, it will not work because it will say it doesn't recognize the game because the game name has been changed. So just FYI, those of you who are, you know, who's thinking, hey, I could use that for something else. Unfortunately, it won't work for you guys. This only is made for uh, Hydro Stick. So it will work with Neo Geo Mini and uh, Neo, Neo, G Neo Geo Mini Hack and also work on Hydro Stick Hack. Uh, this is Hydro Stick Hack and the other one is called Hydro Stick Mini Hack, which is, is for Neo Geo Mini. And here's the Game Gear, it's also in here. Before we don't have Game Gear, and now we do. Now the Game Gear, you won't able to change the different, uh, from Retro to Emulator. You will have to stick, stick with Retro, because, and this is a new animation that I added, and a new uh, theme that I created for Game Gear. I used the red and white as a tr traditional color for the Game Gear. And I used uh, Chin Li that changed from uh, action to social shooting. I kind of like it because uh, it look cute. Because uh, Game Gear is, is, I think it's like, uh, I'm not sure it's a 16 or 8 bit game, but they do play very well. Because I know you could use Game Gear and get an adapter and you could play a 16 bit cartridge as well. So the Game Gear machine it could handle a 16 gig, gig uh, game. So so there's 299 game of Game Gear. Now this is new, uh, but I also have a separate video where I did this one by itself. So those of you who haven't seen it, you can wa watch that video. And so most of the game are 3D. Uh, some of them, for some reason, I think Sega or uh, Super NES, I somehow, some of them, I did not pay attention to it. So some of them do not have 3D box art. But 95% of them have 3D box art. So like I say, the, the box art, the the animation and plus the the game has been modified to work with Hydro Stick, so it's not the standard game name. So it will now work on Raspberry Pi or other console. Sega Master System is also been added, and those are not the original game that work on Hydro Stick. Those are using retro art. So those games cannot be modified uh, back to emulator. Only retro art. Okay, so you have to use retro art to play it. As as soon as uh, uh, retro art uh, community site have update a new course for it, we could test it to see if it improved the animation graphic and gameplay overall so whenever they do release a new one uh, we could put it in and try it and sometimes it actually improves the gameplay and sometimes it doesn't so just FYI but I think they they do a modification almost every day from retro art community, community. Uh, they have done that so you could always uh, download those chords and then just make sure you back up the old one before you put it into here because like I say not all the new one will work on AV uh, because there's so many different console front end so not it doesn't work on all the different front end that's out there
I think the only game that I noticed that you have to reboot uh, the system like 32 well not 32x maybe maybe 32x as well uh, those games use a lot of resource and graphic so whenever you play a game don't be surprised if you play a second game that it will not low or you will freeze up so just turn it off and then turn it back on and that should help it so just FYI that did happen to me so just let you know and there's Sega CD so all the Sega system are all together in one uh, on the game selection so here's I went and uh, center, center the animation kind of we did it but I didn't shrink it down because that's the original size as the character of the animation so I kept it the same with the other em emulator of Sonic so because his car is just plain big <laughs> so so that's why uh, his flying car in the space racing so that's the Sega CD animation. So I have the background to match with the animation. And there is uh, 162. I think that is the uh, pretty much the full set of Sega CD. Oh, this 3D box art is a little bit different. It's longer. <laughs> I didn't even notice till now. Okay. So there's 162. There are some that is, uh, is from a different region of game, like Japan. So their box art is different than USA. Now, the Super NES and NES originally work with Hydro Stick, uh, in, but they all have been moved to Retro. So if you don't like the game being stretched, you could go in and change it back to it. Instead of equal to uh, the, the court names, you could change it back to, I believe is SFC. SFC is the old emulator format and it will it will change this back to normal screen so we have done this long time ago so I'm not going to go through this I'm just going through the, the list to show you the, the different animation and different theme uh, those of you who haven't seen it so this is a uh, Donkey Kong animation and wallpaper and this is the animation for this game because the game uh, She's seizing this game set, so I use her as an animation. Now I noticed the game set I put 351 or 300 something. I don't recommend go over 450. That will create your game to uh, lag and also to freeze up uh, and, and, and definitely will lag. So if you are playing any game, you don't want your game set more than 450. It will run into a problem. Okay, so I, I try to keep it uh, under 450 per each game set so just let you know if you're trying to do more than that you will have a problem so those are some of the restriction 
is before you leave the game, you have to park it on Neo Geo. And when you are setting up the game set, those of you that does know how to do it, and watch my previous old, um, the old um, video that I did. I also a video how to set this thing up and also using my formula so make it easier for you but try to keep it under under 450 okay and those are part of the restriction of this hydro hack Yes, the game you won't able to scroll up and down. You only could scroll down. So yes, it is a little bit hacked that you had to scroll all the way down just to pick the console you like. But that's how it is. There's nothing I could do. Or now, this two games are stretch vertically. So if you don't like it, you could go in because all these new update now you could switch back and forward. So all this, all the NES and Super NES uh, console you could switch it back to uh, put this to a vertical game Now she says, uh, princess, she's doing dancing. Forgot her name, Princess Peach, I think. So all the Super NES, NES, uh, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, you could switch it back to the old emulator. And the old emulator is is EMU equal SFC okay and you can find the name from going to uh, EMU info dot text is listed all the emulator you could pick from So this is the last ses set of the NES. The 8 big uh, console game. And this is animation and plus the uh, theme match with the animation where he's carried the turtle. So the game console do remember what's the last game you play. So before you power it off, uh, please park it in the Neo Geo full set and then turn it off. And that is also part of the requirement for Hydro Hack. So we'll keep it safe. So in case if uh, USB stick corrupted uh, or data is corrupted after a couple years, they do messed up, uh, especially that I noticed the micro SD card. I think after three years, uh, the SD card will get corrupted and all your data is gone. So make sure you back up your data uh, in case, you know, because their lifetime lifespan does not last very long. I don't know how the lifespan on a USB flash drive, but they seem to last pretty long, the USB flash drive, because I have flash drive that seven, eight years, and this information is still readable when I plug it into the computer, so. But the micro SD card, I don't think it, uh, I have people already calling me from, from RS-07. If you have a console called RS-07, which is called a retro arcade mini, 
those uh, SD card please back them up because I have people calling me say Johnny one day I turn on my machine and everything is black and it doesn't work no more and uh, because the SD card have which is life and say goodbye <laughs> Game Boy Advance part two. Now just FYI, just I don't know what's the lifespan on the Neo Geo arcade stick, but I noticed that by me doing a lot of turning off, turn on, I noticed that the system will not power on. So you just have to unplug everything and we plug it back in and turn the power on. Yeah, do that several times. And sometimes you have to wait for a little bit of a while, let it cool down, and then try again. And eventually it will start working again. The power will come on. So what I meant by power is mean this. This two light. It will not come on. Okay, not because the uh, USB have issue, but because of this, it won't turn on. So you have black screen, period. And sometimes you have to unplug this and plug it back in and but we see that correctly again this will come back up so those of you who haven't run into that problem that's great but people like me like to uh, modify the images add new animation you will run into that problem so just letting you know that this is not a perfect arcade stick uh, it does have glitches and issue with this So if you do enjoy this image, you might want to keep it or buy a second one when it's on sale just in case. Also another, uh, another uh, we have, we added the retro to help the six button issue, but now we have another different issue where you cannot play any other joystick other than the Neo Geo Arcade stick. Uh, if you try to play two player using a different stick playing retro game you have to use a second uh, Neo Geo arcade stick it won't work with a different uh, different stick uh, even if you have the flash adapter it still won't support it so just FYI now if you're playing the old emulator like this and you change it back to the the old emulator I think this this emulator is used the G Game Boy C, so GBC. So you could change it back to GP, G, GBC, and it will use the old emulator instead of using Retro Art Court. And then you could use different joystick to play it. So that's the downside about the Retro Art. The Retro Art to me is a very beta version meaning that there's a lot of stuff that they did not bring over they only bring the courts the the court to allow it to play in the background but the retro art features and functionality does not work here so just fyi so if you're trying to put basil okay that's, so that's the end of the game boy events we're going to game boy cutter so just let you know those kind of uh, functionality issue like adding shadow or shaded line it doesn't work here trying to add uh, filter shade a video filter uh, it does it doesn't work here either so now Mario is a little bit bigger than bef then but it is shrunk down smaller before you used to be very big size of the box and now it's like half of the box size so that's is size has been changed so here's the game boy color to match the map the big mario's uh, theme and animation Here's the Game Boy Color again. 
is the second set and it's also using RetroArt but this you could switch it back to using GBC for both Game Boy and Game Boy Color they use the, the emulator called GBC so if you want to change it back to GPC and doesn't the game doesn't stretch in a full screen you could do that okay So like I say, uh, Super Onion, let me tell you real quick, all these uh, arcade and Genesis, Game Gear, and all the NES, you could switch it back using the old emulator, okay? You don't have to get stuck with retro art. You could change it back. Now, there are some games that do not work well, like... Uh, the old NES game like Beauty and Beast, you will have to stick with the the retro art. Now there's three different retro art that you could pick from. So you you could pick from those three and decide which one you want to use. So all those are in Telegram. There's instruction on the description. You have to log in to Telegram, set up account with them first, and then you could uh, then the link will work after you create the account. There's a last set of last set of Neo Geo game. I mean Game Boy, Nintendo Game Boy. And I like also I try to match the animation with the box art. Now this one is created by a uh, Simpson Simpson Samuel Simpson, I believe. Uh, this theme was created by him, and in order for it to work, I have to modify it so that it will work here. Uh, the the help the credit is is still there. The information uh, I have to modify the pictures so that it will show the the title of the game. And I have to modify the to match so that the, it will work with my my add-on. So this is a theme that was created by uh, uh, Sim he, uh, Simpson, I believe, and he's the one who created this. So I want to, get to let you guys know that this this animation and background was created created by him. Now the box art, we, in order to match with my rest of my, uh, my setup, I have changed his two, 2D box art to my 3D box art. So those are the couple changes I have to do in order to merge his, his information, his image, into this fully built uh, set. And now, we're going to uh, PlayStation. Now, just so you know, this image do not have the the PlayStation, uh, the Neo Geo CD, uh, Sega CD, and Sega Thirty Two. So you will have to you have the link where you could uh, get it, but this image it is total of. Uh, 30.1 gigabyte after you unzip it and it's only 16.6 uh, zip up but when you unzip it it's 30.1 and the only uh, only one that is not included with this nice zip file 
Uh, this is only total nine zip file when you sit when you download it. And then you once you unzip it, everything will work. You don't have to edit anything or do anything. Uh, so those four consoles that I just mentioned, you need to go to download and put it into a ROM folder so it will work. And with this full set, you're looking at about four four hundred oh six. Uh, gigabyte so you need to have a roughly 406 gigabyte of storage or bigger so in the near future uh, because I like NES game that we will be adding Turbo 16 CD and PC Engine CD so you need at least 512 uh, normally they go by 400 and then 512 in the next uh, next one so I recommend people asking how much space it does it take up. Uh, the the four console, the four CD that I just mentioned to you, those at least they are three hundred seventy six gigabyte. Just those four console uh, of data that is not in here. So you add those together, you get four thousand oh six gigabyte. So you need about four hundred. Or six gigabyte. Uh, now I tried to keep this one or uh, uh, the using he's the ma mascot of the PlayStation, and so I use him as a PlayStation. Now there is like this is the game list that I put in. And, but if you prefer to have PlayStation on top or Atari on top, you have to get that Excel formula that I created to plot, plot the information in and it will generate a list of renaming the folder and the image. So you could let the system rename it for you by running the batch file. So those are stuff that I have created to make this transaction um, helped you to do this quicker which it helped me so that's why I could able to do this quick because if I have to do this one by one uh, it actually took me a whole day trying to rearrange this moving all the Sega Genesis to the top and that really drive me crazy trying to make sure the number is all correct and everything because this thing is going by number so for example the first game set is zero okay this is one so start with a zero, one, two, three, four, five, and there is 42 total. So just let so you know, there's a total of 42 game selection. So the next one would be, the last two would be uh, Turbo Graphic and PC Engine. So there will be a CD version coming, uh, will be right below it. So when you add it, you will put, this will be, 40, 41, 42, and then this one will be 43 and 44. So those two will be add on down the road. Uh, I don't have a bunk that I could find for the animation that I like. So unless if I really get real boring and decide to draw the bunk myself and create the animation, but right now there's no animation I could find that is bunk. The one I found is not even cuter than this. It look actually look worse. So I didn't use it. So I use um Chen Li instead. And I tried to use the the same kind of theme that they use for topographic mini where this is the top and then the bottom where this is the same color in the bottom and the hydro stick is there so I try to use a similar theme that was used on the Turbo 16 Turbo 16 Mini and the last and not least PC Engine so the description will be at the bottom. It shows you where to go in to log into Telegram 
and so like I said you have to set up account you have to provide uh, you you could you could provide them telephone number or you don't need to provide them telephone number you still work and this one like uh, I try to use the same thing for PC engine which is white and so the information is kept the same and I try to keep the I try to put the, the physical uh, console so you can see what it look like and so I use that theme to create this one and this one I use my the smaller little bit smaller than the the one that I use for Neo Geo Pocket color this one is a little bit smaller and uh, here's all the game set for PC Engine so PC Engine and Topo 16 I love those consoles so those are full set of game set so that's pretty much it that I have for you I hope you guys enjoy it please give me a thumb up and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe that will help my channel and if you have any comment like you like it you really appreciate it please let me know uh, this does take a long time a couple of weeks uh, a month to do and I finally convert this to retro art using the retro art as a back end now Turbo 16 and PC Engine are using retro art so you cannot change it to an emulator there's no emulator support this is a brand new console that was added so it's not supported by the old emulator you have to use retro art okay so P all the PC Engine and Sega Genesis uh, have to use the retro art except Genesis Genesis you could still use the emulator okay but all the Sega product uh, PC uh, and NEC, which is the PC Engine company, they all use the retro art and PlayStation as well, and uh, Neo Geo CD as well. Those, those all use retro art. So all the new console like Atari, they also use retro art. You won't be able to change it to the emulator. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you like it. Now before I close it down, like like I told you go to game selection don't change don't touch anything just press enter and then once you are here after it finished loaded then you power off so before you change your image please back up your old image okay back it up and so this just to show you once you put it in the right place you could able to go to the start firmware so the start firmware is not being touched is still there everything is still there so you go you can still go to stock framework now if you do not pocket at Neo Geo you won't be able to go to this one and so and those of you who haven't hacked it this is how you hack it the one the hack is in here as well you press set, enter you go to system okay you have unlock and system okay so if you haven't unlocked yours for example let me go back out uh, press B see mine is only 20 game okay so I'm going to show you how to unlock that real quick so you just go to system and you're gonna to go to unlock so it just added another 20 game this came from Neo Geo company uh, so this is all come from what they gave you with the with this build it took a whole year to collect all this on their website but they are all here now if you haven't hacked it you want to go to system update and press enter so the hide or hack is here but you're not going to see it because it's already been updated so there's no new update okay but that is the same place where you hack it then you press B to get out now if you go up now you have 40 game so originally it's 20 game and after that all this is new that has been added by and created by Neo Geo company and this is the box art that they use uh, and this is the kind of box art that they use for the Heidel team where they use this original look to create the box art for the Neo Geo game and the Capcom so they try to keep that same look but uh, just different color I think Capcom is yellow and Neo Geo is red and they, they kept the, the title on each box 
but this one does have a, a game description but they took that out they figure this is official enough that they don't need that so they make their box art bigger and they remove that and they put this in and they include they included this and this and the year but they didn't include the, the circle thing you know in the top like they have over here because that's a little bit hard to do so they didn't do that but this is the original Neo Geo box art look so they try to keep it uh, the same look so they're not using the, the 3D so this this version uh, I call it a fully loaded uh, retro art version 1.9 because retro art is version 1.9 not the hydro stick version it's just the uh, retro art version 1.9 it's the same engine same uh, same one as the one that you see in the Hydro, Hydro team version 1.9 uh, using the same kind of uh, uh, photo structure they're using and using the same uh, patches and, and dip switch and the, the speed so the speed on this is going to be already being improved but it's because there's so many data running so it's going to be uh, still as you can see that's the time for, that's how long it takes to load uh, each game list okay but yeah this is uh, ready for you so I'm gonna go and power it down and just just information how you hack it and if you want to if you wanted to unhack it you just go to factory reset that's all I do I don't I don't try to run the uninstall because if you want to run the un uninstall uh, update.image you have to rename that file to update.image IMG you have to rename it and then move your other one to somewhere so you won't get confused which one because you have to keep the same name uh, called update.img in order for it to show up and then you will go here and do the the system update and then but I find the you don't really need to do that you could just do factory reset and that will go back everything will be gone you will not have hydro stick all right okay that's pretty much it hopefully this helped and you guys enjoy it and uh if you have any question you could come and ask me on telegram uh, in telegram i could send you text image video voice as needed to help you support you to make this uh uh, experience uh, more easier for you uh, but at the same time all this you have to take in the warning I'm giving you guys warning you have to take your own risk if you break it and it doesn't work and we can't fix it there is a possibility that will happen but so just know you know I'm not responsible if you do this and you break it and it doesn't work uh, please don't Help me responsible I'm just one of the person trying to help the community by putting this all together so to make this experience fun for you so you can stay home and be safe and have a happy Easter thank you for watching talk to you later bye bye